Hello and welcome. Today we're going to focus on Scania's efforts to help combat the spread of HIV in South Africa. We will be highlighting various examples as well as hearing comments from studio guests. Now to reach out to community, one can utilize a number of methods, but word of mouth among peers has generally proved to be the most effective tool for getting your message across. In South Africa, Scania are employing this method in health programs for their employees and also for the community at large. At Scania South Africa, this is an organized part of healthcare and information. It is carried out by so-called peer educators. They also encourage colleagues to attend health screenings at the monthly wellness days arranged at work. At a typical wellness day, nurses are present at Scania to offer health screenings to assess glucose level and blood pressure, as well as to offer HIV AIDS tests. Cooperating with Reality Wellness ensures that a strict code of confidentiality is upheld. Employees can be tested and receive subsequent treatment without jeopardizing their jobs due to a diagnosis. Scania has also targeted the driver community in order to reduce the number of new HIV infections. During the Scania driver competitions in Southern Africa, where more than 700 bus and truck drivers participated, health and safety was one of the most important objectives of the competition. Several activities were provided for the drivers as well as for visitors at the final. During registration, all participants at Scania driver competitions were breathalyzed to ensure sobriety. As part of the Southern African driver competition's final, an accident was staged where the drivers practiced first aid. We have two guests with us in the studio today. The first is Andreas Foller, who's the Sustainability Manager for Scania. And the second has a very long title, so I'll make sure I get it right. It's um, Bjorn Karlborg, who's an Occupational Health Physician and the Scania Global Medical Officer. Is that correct? Good. That's right. Andreas, first to you. Why is it so important to have these health programs organised in the workplace? First of all, the HIV AIDS pandemic in Southern Africa has dreadful humanitarian consequences, both for the persons affected, but also for their families, for the community at large and for businesses. So for us, it's key to be a part of the solution, be a part of doing what we can to address the situation. I think we have a moral responsibility to be a part of combating HIV AIDS in Southern Africa. But let's be honest, Scania is a transport solutions company. I mean, surely you need to tread very carefully when involving yourself in such a project. I mean, especially something as sensitive as HIV. Of course, although we have been around for almost 125 years and health and safety has always been a core part of what Scania does. So we have a lot of knowledge on the area of health related workplace programs. Thank you. Thank you. So Bjorn, as an occupational health physician, I imagine you must be a huge supporter of this scheme. Yeah, you can see that it works very well <clears throat> by seeing that uh, death uh, related to AIDS are de decreasing. You can see that there's less absenteeism due to HIV related sickness. And this is of course due to the program and the long term treatment with antiviral drugs, which also means that there'll be less and less people sick in AIDS. The people with HIV infection will have a better life quality. And by being in the program, SCAN is taking the social responsibilities, but will also benefit from it by getting a healthier workforce. The other part that's important is information, since uh, there's a lot of shame with HIV infection. And by involving the local community, the families, and having the peer education training program, SCAN is uh, taking a big part in that. Could they do any more, if anything, do you think? I mean. Uh, the important thing is, of course, to continue the good work with motivating people to stay on the treatment, which can be very difficult since they're feeling healthy, the treatment is lifelong, and there might even be some side effects with the treatment. It's a long-term investment for the people and for Scania. It's, it's yes, not a quick fix, you, you is can't it? stop. Uh, you have to take the treatment for the rest of your life, of course. And the other part is looking at the whole health issue in, in uh, South Africa. Andreas Carl, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. That's it for this program. We'll see you next time.